Hello, today I'm going to show you the three different kinds of mounting back box for a range of sensors and I'm also going to show you how to put the sensors into the back boxes. I'm going to show you how to put this, the 312 multi-sensor, into its mounting box, the SBBC. Of course this will be mounted on the ceiling and your Dali cable will be going through and already connected to the terminal block that's provided with the 312. One thing to note is that the cable guard that comes with the 312, it's too long to go in the mounting box and you don't need it, so we won't be using that. First of all, connect the terminal block. There we are, just push that too. And then you can see the little plastic wings there that hold it in place. Simply put it in, twist it round, and that's it. It's mounted. Today I'm going to show you how to put this, the 314 microwave sensor with the tilting head, into the mounting box. That's SBBB. And we're assuming the mounting box has already been attached to the ceiling. You can see the screw holes there. And that the Dali cable is coming through the mounting box and you've wired the Dali cable to the connector, which uh, the connector comes with the 314. And the second connector there is for the external power supply, if you're going to use that. Put my hands in the way. Now we'll tighten this up. And then bend back the springs. Of course, these are the springs that would normally hold it in place if you've got a plasterboard ceiling. Put them in there and just push it shut. And you hear that click and it's mounted. I'm going to show you how to put these sensors that's the 311, the 313, and the 317. Uh, mount them into the SBBA mounting box. Of course, you'll already have mounted the mounting box on the ceiling and the Dali cable will be coming through. Here, I've connected the removable block that you'll get with the sensor. And uh, so the first thing you'll do then is connect the Dali cable. Put my hands in the way. Now we'll tighten this up. And then you have to move the springs to the side. And you do it in this way. Remove it from there. And remove that pin from there. Just move it to the side that way. There we are. Insert it like that. And give it a good push too. And you can then tighten it in position. And that's it.